Today, I want to show you how you can use the Run Settlement Actual app to perform test runs and to update runs. This app allows us to settle actual costs from a single project, WBS element, or maintenance order to specified receivers. It's typically used during period end closing when we need to test or run the settlement process over a single object. The app also shows us settlement results in detail for each sender and receiver, enabling us to analyze the cost allocation. We can use this app, for example, if new costs were added to a project that was already settled during mass processing, and now we want to settle only that project. Another case when we can use this app is if we fix the errors that occurred during mass processing, and now we want to run settlement for the erroneous senders individually without having to schedule another mass processing job. So let's take a look. First, from our SAP Fiori Launchpad, we open the Run Settlement Actual app. Here, we can select a cost object type for which we want to run the settlement. In this case, we'll just go for WBS element, which is the default cost object type. Next, we enter a WBS element and choose Go, and our search results will appear. If we want to display the settlement rules and the previous settlements for the WBS element, we can get this information by clicking here. From here, we can also start the run or test run for this settlement, but for this demo, we'll go back to our search results and do it from there. We've already selected the WBS element for our settlement run, but first we want to perform a test run to make sure that there are no remaining errors before doing the update run. To do that, we just choose Test Run. Here, we need to enter the settlement period and the fiscal year for which the settlement is to take place. If we need more information on a certain field or key concept, just go ahead and press 1 or choose the question mark displayed in the app header. We can also enter more parameters here or change the processing type. And once we're ready, we just choose Test Run. And there we go. Our test run is complete. That means our WBS element can be settled successfully in the update run. Now we have two options here. If we want to adjust the parameters and repeat the test run, we can choose the Test Run button here. Or, if we're satisfied with our test run results, we can start the update run and post financial documents accordingly. Since our test run results were accurate, we'll go ahead and start the update run by choosing Run. We'll find more details in the tabs below. We can also use the in-app help here to get more information on the result statistics. The Messages tab contains a list of messages showing possible errors or warnings. To get more details about the senders and receivers, you can go ahead and look under these tabs. In here, have a look at this here in the Web Assistant in the in-app help. Go ahead and click on the What's This App button to jump to the SAP Help Portal to see the information on the possible use cases and all the features of this app. And that's it. That's how you can perform settlement test runs and update runs with the Run Settlement Actual app.